Appalachian Trail 2021. So I got up at 5. It's been raining all night. Went back to bed. Got up at 6. Still raining. 7. Still raining. It's almost 8 o'clock. It's supposed to be quitting. But everything seems to be a couple hours past where it was. So, I only have 37 miles to the next town. I did the 23 and a half yesterday. So basically, if I do 12 today, 20 tomorrow, that leaves me 5 in Monday morning. So yeah, we're not in any kind of a rush. Um, everything's wet, but I don't want to hike in the pouring rain. Um, trail, rocks are horrible, um, especially when it's wet. So yeah, I'm just letting it quit. It's supposed to get sunny this morning. Um, maybe I could dry something out. Probably not. It's going to be 100% humidity. But yeah, there's a shelter in like two and a half miles. And then there's a shelter basically like seven and a half. Then 15. Or wait, I'm sorry. Two. 12. I don't remember. It doesn't really matter too much. But yeah, there's shelters coming up. There's four of them between here and 23 miles. So all I got to do is really get to one of those shelters and I'm golden for Monday. Uh, I mean, even if I only do three miles today, I can still get in Monday pretty early. So yeah, that's the plan. I'm just going to wait here until the rain stops and it's pretty much stopping. It's, I think it's right now it's just dripping off the trees. So eight o'clock comes another few minutes. I'm probably going to get up and start packing then. So, all right, guys. We'll see you on trail. All right, guys. Finally on trail, 9 a.m. Quite a bit late for me, but I said it was raining. And when I was breaking down camp, it rained so hard last night that water got into my tent underneath my uh, sleeping pad and quilt. Quilt didn't get too wet, but it splashed up into the tent. So the entire tent's wet. Basically everything I own is wet. Um, there's a hotel in six miles um, that's supposed to be really shitty, but I could go in there and dry out. Um, so I don't know. We'll just see how, how we feel, see what the weather looks like. Um, really don't want to go into that hotel. I mean, I've only been out one night. Come on. I did 22, three and a half trail miles yesterday. So kind of like to get something in today. But uh, so I relooked at gut hooks. The shelter is nine miles and town is actually 41 that I was planning to go to. So that would leave me 30 for Sunday, Monday. Still isn't bad. 20 tomorrow. 10 on Monday. So, hey, we're just going to play it by ear. It's going to be a glorious day, no matter how far we go. So, all right, guys, let's get hiking. Well, got a nice little view of that lake down there. And if you can see the clouds, yeah, so I ran into another hiker and he mentioned that the rain is coming at noon. So I got up here, had service. It's going to rain all day. Heavy showers starting around noon. It's currently just after 11. I don't know if you can see that fire tower or radio tower, whatever that is up there. That's four and a half miles away. Past that is the shelter, 4.5 miles away. So, I'm going to try to bust my butt and get down there. I called the hotel. Yeah, they're all booked. It's 4th of July weekend. I knew it would be. But, I'm still soaking wet from last night. I need to get somewhere so I can get dry. So, alright guys.
end of the view, I get a motor. All right, guys, good news. Uh, a fellow YouTuber who owns a uh, hostel now, south of here, but uh, I saw I found him on gut hooks. I didn't know he had a shuttle, or I mean a hostel. He's got nobody there. Uh, he said he'd come pick me up and bring me back. So, all right, guys, I got to get down to this gap. Hey, that way I can at least dry off and uh, escape this rain. So, yeah, it's going to be pretty cool to meet him. I've watched some of his videos. He's a darn uh, happy-go-lucky guy. It'll be kind of cool to meet him. So, all right, guys, I got to keep uh, booking. Of course, I got an hour to get there. It's going to take him an hour to get here to me. But uh, we're going to go check out his new hostel. So, uh, we'll see what uh, his hostel looks like. I'm not going to tell you who it is until... Uh, I find out for sure, if, you know, he wants that to be put out there. So, but, uh, all right, I got to get down to the gap. All right, guys. So I'm at the new hostel. And again, I'm still not going to tell you whose it is. But this is my room. Nice bed. TV, I guess, doesn't work. Desk, if I want to, you know, do desk things. Then it's got the shared bathroom up here. Double sinks. But yeah, just took a nice hot shower. Pretty darn nice. Got a little teddy bear over there to keep me company. But yeah, so far, pretty darn nice place. And he, like I said, he's just opening. So doesn't have laundry facilities yet, but I'm going to do them in the tub. That's all I need to do is my socks and my shirt anyways. But yeah, this is my bedroom. All right, everybody. So as I told you, it's supposed to rain all afternoon and it poured tonight like no tomorrow so i got a uh, shuttle to a hostel uh opened up by a, a fellow youtuber and uh tomorrow i will uh interview him and show you who opened this hostel in delaware water gap so for tonight it's still gonna be a surprise so not a lot of miles today like i said all my stuff was soaking wet and with the rain coming in just around noon, I decided, hey, you know what? I'm getting off to uh, go to a hostel, get everything dried out. So tomorrow, I'll interview the gentleman who is opening this hostel. It's a work in progress. It just started out. So I showed you the room. I'm not going to show you the whole place. Um, he's still getting it all set up. It's a nice place. Don't get me wrong. Nice big kitchen, nice big living room. TV, all kinds of DVDs, um, uh, multiple private rooms. Um, yeah, it's it's a cool place. Don't get me wrong. But uh, he's also hasn't actually put it out on his channel. So I'm going to kind of let him do that. But I'll interview him and just so you know who's got it open. That's so, right. For tonight, I'm getting headed, ready to hit the rack. So... You guys have a great evening, afternoon, morning, wherever you are. This isn't the end of the video. It's going to be a two-day video since there wasn't much to see today since only did like seven miles, something like that. So, all right, guys, I'm hitting a rack. We'll see you in the morning, and we'll see who the new hostel owner is tomorrow. All right, guys, good night. Hey, everybody. Happy 4th of July. I'm here in Delaware Water Gap at my new friend's hostel. You may recognize him from Andrew Live Life, fellow YouTuber. And the other day, as I said, I was going to somebody's hostel. And I wasn't sure I was going to tell you who it was. But uh, yeah, he picked me up out of the rain that was coming and it poured like a son of a... Yeah, exactly. After he picked me up. So it's great to get over here to this new hostel. Today is gorgeous. We're out here getting ready to cook some steaks. Going to have a great afternoon. So, Andrew, first off, I got to say thank you very much for having me. Yeah, for Pleasure. Sure. And uh, you open a new hostel, brother. Yeah, currently in the process of opening this establishment. I mean, we'll see how far it goes. But uh, shout out to Jelly Bean right here for coming out. And uh, thanks for reaching out, brother. And thanks for cooking uh, about to cook, cook, cook up these uh, amazing steaks, for sure. <laughs> Boy, thanks again for having me. Yeah, awesome. And if you guys remember last year, back in uh, Acton. We did a steak cookout, so hopefully it lives up to it. So, hey, I'm just chilling here at Andrew's new crib, yeah. and uh, he's going to get it rolling. 
he's going to put it out on the video when he gets it all set up. It's kind of just starting out, so I'll let him show the hostel. Yeah. But hey, again, thank you, Andrew, for having me. And it's been a great, relaxing day yesterday and now this morning. And we're getting ready to have some nice steaks. So, all right, guys, I'm going to eat some steak, and we'll talk to you all later. Peace. Peace. <laughs>